What's going on, guys? Matt McCoy, Acoustic Selection. I hope you're doing well. God's doing big things really fast. I don't know when you're watching this video, but tomorrow, September the 18th, is the release of my 21-day digital devotional. You'll see it on my website when you go to AcousticSelection.com. I'm really excited about this. It's a three-part devotional that you ponder on a scripture that I give you at the first. Then you sing a praise chorus. It's all, all the songs are four chord. I have a link to a piano and a guitar tutorial. And then third, you have a prayer. Now, I think in those 21 days, when you ponder on Scripture, you praise His name through song, and you pray, He's going to get us all closer to God. So I'm really excited about that. Look for that on the website, AcousticSelection.com. Now to the lesson here. I asked a question the other day. What's the most difficult thing about learning guitar? And I have a ton of different responses, so thank you all if you, if you replied to some comment. One of the things people said over and over is all their songs sound the same. And I can relate to that too. A lot of times when you're just beginning, all the songs do sound pretty much the same. You think you just got kind of one way of playing a song. So I'm going to go over Blessed Be the Name of the Lord and play it three different ways. So we'll go. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. And then if you give and take away. Give and take away My heart will choose to sing Oh, blessed be your name So the first regular way you can play just doing down strums Blessed be the name of the Lord Blessed be the name <coughs> Excuse me. So kind of regular strumming which would be four one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And all I'm doing there is keeping the bottom two strings locked of the third fret. And then I'm going to G, fifth and sixth, all six. When I see a D, you simply go down third string, bottom four. E minor, I press the fifth and fourth. If you have smaller hands, you use two fingers. I press the fifth and fourth. One, two, three, four. And then... When I say a C, it's a C add nine, just like your G, except slid down, bottom five. So that's the four chords you want to use over and over the same pattern. G, D, E minor, C. So when I play this song, the strumming pattern I use is a half strum down, up, down, up, half strum down, up, down, up, half strum down, up, down, up. Remember on the up strum, just the bottom two or three strings, half strum down, up, down, up, like this. Blessed be the name. Now see how easy those chord changes were if you're not familiar with the Matt McCoy four chords, when you lock in the two bottom strings, it makes those chord, the GC minor D chord changes very, very simple and quicker, especially for us beginners. So that's the first way I would play it. It's kind of the half strum down, up, down, up. If you want to do the, the kind of palm mute kind of riff, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. This, all I'm doing, you're just doing down strums to kind of keep your outside of your hand on this bridge. To kind of mute the strings a little bit. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, see, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. This be the name of the Lord. This be your name. This be the name of the Lord. And so forth. So again, that's just, that's working on that palm mute. You don't, not totally stopping the strings. You're just having the outside of your hand right there and kind of getting that sound right there as you play the chords. Really hit that heart, that first one hard. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. So that's way two. Way three is this is a great. It's a little more advanced. I talk about this. It's called four string finger picking. If you're if you're not familiar, I have a, a core a new course called Tips and Tricks. One of the tips and tricks I go over is doing this four string finger picking. And all you're doing is taking the top four strings, 
So on a G, six five four three six five four three. On the D, four three two one four three two one. E minor, five four three two five four three two. And on a C, five four three two five four three two. This would be the name of the Lord. This would be the name. This This be your glorious name. Give and take away. Give and take away. My heart with you. One of the things you can do too, I'm using a guitar pick actually right now. You don't have to, you can just use your thumb. A lot of times I'll just use my thumb. And even on the D chord often, I'll find myself lifting up my pinky like this. So I'll do it up, up, then down, then E minor, C. What this does too, when you start doing that finger picking type stuff and picking out each individual strings, it helps make, make sure those chords are sounding really clear. Otherwise it'll be like this. You have dead strings. So make sure your fingers are positioned just on the end of your fingertips and close to that fret bar to get a good clear sound. If you're just starting out, maybe your chords are not sounding too clear, that's fine. Your fingers might not be calloused. You might be not totally pressing um, the string properly, or you might be accidentally uh, having your finger touch another string. Just try to get move your hand around up and down this way and close to the fret bar to get a clear sound. You're just doing two four counts. This be the name of the Lord. This be the name. This be the name of the Lord. This be your glory. There you go, guys. Three ways: the regular way, the palm mute, and the finger picking. Let me know in the comment section which way you you prefer. Maybe let me know if you can play all three of those, or none of those, or you're working on it. My goal was just get you closer to the Lord, first of all. Second of all, to get you a little bit better on guitar or piano with this channel. So hopefully, it's a blessing to you all. By the way, if you're not a member of my Patreon, I have Patreon.com/slash Matt McCoy. I already released my devotional songbook to them, so you get early access and a discount uh, when you're on Patreon of all my products, that kind of thing. So if you're not a member yet, patreon.com slash Matt McCoy, you can join that. If you want to get the devotional, the tips and tricks course, maybe one of my four chord songbooks, that kind of thing, check out my website, acousticselection.com. Thank you, guys. God is so good. Let's praise him today. Till tomorrow. God bless you.